In other news tonight, a severe beating investigation on Green Bay's east side is now a murder case. Police are recommending charges for 20-year-old Lawrence Hawkins, his fiance, 19-year-old Keirte. Uh, Keonti Presley, rather, and her father, 57-year-old Brian Presley, for their role in the man's death. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has more. Police continue to investigate a confrontation that left 54-year-old Gene Demarath dead, and they say it was all over a few hundred dollars. He didn't deserve this kind of treatment. Over, what, $350, $400? Nobody deserves to lose their life over that little bit of money. That's chump change in my book. Brandon Demarath was at his Cedar Street home last Thursday night when he says three people came to the door looking for his dad, Gene. He said they were looking for money they claimed his dad owed them over some car repairs. I felt he was being threatening. They were intending to do some kind of damage. Police say while the three were leaving the home, Gene Demarath showed up. They say the three suspects followed Demarath down the block and that's where the confrontation happened. They had given him a car and given him some money to repair the car. He wasn't able to repair the car, and they were trying to get the money back from him. That's when police say Demarath was beaten up, suffering severe head injuries, which led to his death two days later. For this man to do what he did to my child, that was so wrong. No, he didn't deserve to die, but he had no business treating my children that way. Carol Rucker is the mother of Chianti Presley, who appeared in Brown County Court for her alleged role in the beating. She says her daughter and the other two men didn't have any violent intentions when they went to Demarath's home looking for the money. He should have gave them the money and the car. No money amount of money is worth somebody's life. No witnesses have come forward saying they saw the physical confrontation. Police hope the autopsy can reveal more about what happened. In Green Bay, Ben Krumholz. Fox 11 News. Now, no formal charges have been filed in this case. Brian Presley and Lawrence Hawkins are in jail tonight but did not appear in court today. A judge set a $25,000 signature bond for Chianti Presley.